Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, the Brickman2468. Sorry I've been gone for a long time. I lost my tripod and all that stuff. But, yeah. I'm here today with our new Lord of the Rings review for you guys. This is Attack on Weathertop. It's set number 9472, ages 8 to 14. 430 pieces. Has five minifigures. Five great minifigures, I should say. And it retails for $60, which is... The only pricey, overpriced set in this line. All the other ones are great price, great prices. And, um, yeah, it should be 50 I think. That'd be way more worth it. But it's still cool. It's got, like, three exclusive figures. And, oh, why am I showing the instruction me? This is the box. And it's got the five figures right here. You got Aragorn, Mary, Frodo, and two ringwraiths. And they're up there too. But um back of the box just shows the uh, weapons, some stuff there, staircase. Mary's having a jolly good time eating and getting fat. And there he's falling through the trap door, which is not in the movie. And there's not an inside of this set in the movie either. But that's still cool. It's a good thing they made all the functions on here. Or not in the movie, but yeah, here's the instruction manual. Not much in it, I don't think. There is something for the Lego Hobbit, the Hobbit and Unexpected Journey coming winter 2012 for Lego. That'll be awesome. I saw some preliminary pictures of one of the sets that looks awesome. Here is a picture of Helm's Deep, which I have, and Lord of the Rings video game. And it also so shows the Orc Forge and Mines of Morai, which I have both of those. Other than this, those are the only four sets I have right now. And something for the Lego Lord of the Rings website. And then there's this um, poster of all the figures. That is really cool. So yeah, silent there. So I'm showing you all that. Tip, let's put it there. Now I will show you the figures, which are down there. The figures are great in this set. I really like them. And first, you get a uh, brick separator, orange brick separator. It's nice. So, we get the ring wraiths with their horses. They are really nice. They're exclusive. They're really cool. And they have just black face and a hood cool torso printing and a nice cape too the holes in it but it sticks out like that it's kind of weird how it sticks out so much they do oh they do have back printing it's there and a sword gunmetal color so they're cool and you get two of them the horses are the same too and I'll show you the horses so here's the horse, really cool. And it's got the saddle, and then I can take that out and put that in it, just like all other horses. Head moves down, but the new design is it can stand up on their hind legs, like that. So that's cool. We got them on the way. We have Aragorn, it's a cool figure silver sword and a torch torso printing and like printing a little bit of back printing cool face faces and next we have Frodo he's cool he's got the one ring you actually get three of them and there's the ring it's oversized but they it's they, they don't have fingers in Lego, so, you know, they can hold it like that, too. It just fell out. And he has Sting, that little sword there. That's cool. And the new hair for them is cool. Torso printing, his face. He also has that face when he gets stabbed. And a green cape, that's for the short people. But that's new. And he has torso. 
back printing, sorry. And the final figure is exclusive. This is Mary. It's cool. It's the regular little short sword. And he's got a light green cape and reddish hair. Torso printing. And there he's mad. And that's right after Frodo gets stabbed, I think. Does he have back printing? I'm sure he does. Yeah, he does. So, that's all the figures. And you get this little thing that just adds to the detail, kind of. It's along the side with a bush, which is cool. Plants and a little rock formation. Nothing much to see there. Then we have the set, which is the cool part. So, down there is um, their little eating scene. And this is where they're having a jolly good time. And there's an apple hitting, hidden in the little plant. And a bag with a chicken leg. The fire pit with a little pot on it. A carrot. And then Frodo comes running up and blows out the fire. And then they see the ring wraiths down there coming. So then they, they run up this cool spiral staircase. And they're up here waiting to fight. And some cool detailing up here. Just like with the plants there. The brick kind of little formations back there. And the little micro figure statues right there and there. That's cool usage of parts. And then along the side here, there's like a little something right there. I don't know what that's for. And then it's kind of rounded around on the back here. The doorway that goes into the back. It's cool how they made that. It was a fun build. And then you can take Frodo and put him on this. Here. Oops, he fell over. Sorry about that. And you pull that lever back there, and yes, he's gone. And then you have to, you can sometimes get him out from there, but then most of the time you have to open it, which, oh, sorry about that. You have to open it like that. It just spreads apart. I'll get poor little Frodo out of there. And inside, there is a couple of torches, a rat, a weapon rack, a spear, and a sword on it. And over there, there's something there. I'm really not sure what that is. And then a couple of flick missiles, which I know you all love, so I'll show you that. Just. Who doesn't like flick fire missiles? Just need to have those. So, that's about it for this set. It's a nice set. I, I like it. It does have, um, well, I don't know. The only problem with this set really is the price. $60. But, um, other than that, it's a really cool set. So, I'm going to go ahead and give this a 9 out of 10. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please rate and comment. Not rate. Like, comment, and subscribe. Favorite. I'll see you guys later. Bye.